Hey lovelies, you are welcome back again to my channel. I guess you love what you are seeing on your screen right now. The last time I made a video on how to make an apron and I promised making a kitchen cap as well. Now it is done. Can you see how this looks? I feel like a chef right now. Honestly, it came out very nice. The fabric I used was just perfect for this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button and don't also forget to turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos. Kindly like, comment and share this video. Let's get started. I'll be needing my scissors, ruler, measuring tape, pins, chalk, and my fabric. Well, I already have a cutout, though not a perfect square, and the measurement is um, 24 inches by 26 inches. I'll be folding it into four on the wrong side, just like that, as if you want to cut a circle flare. Then from that folded point, I will be placing my measuring tape on top and um, I will be marking 11 and a half inches all the way down. If you mark 12 inches, it's still very okay. I connected with my free hand like that, but if you have a curve ruler, you could also make use of it. So when I was done connecting, I just cut it out. When you open it up, it should give you a perfect circle. I came up by 3 inches from the edge of the cutout. 4 inches also works very fine. So I went ahead to measure the um, full length of the notch and that was like 6 inches. But I'll be cutting out a strip of about 8 inches long and um, 2 inches wide or 1.5 inch is also fine. The essence of this is to make a bias, but if you have an already made bias, you could still make use of it. But I wanted my bias to be made with the fabric. So I'll be cutting it now. I'll be showing you how to make a bias. So first of all, you fold in one edge of the strip. You iron it flat. You also fold in the other end, just like that. Then you fold it into two. So we have just created a bias. The next thing is just to take it to the piece like that. And I'll be fixing in the raw edge of the notch. I actually made this part slow so you will see how it is. When doing this part, please, you have to take your time. Because if you don't fix it well, it may pull out. And that will not be nice. So you just take your time, try to fix in the raw edges of the cutout like that. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, so just take it one step at a time and hold it with pins. Here is how it looks, so I'll be taking it to the machine to stitch down. So this aspect is really easy, you just have to take your time, okay? So this is the final look. The next thing I will go ahead to do is to sew along the edge of the cutout, like that. So when I'm doing this, I'm not going to back stitch because I want to create gathers. You just start sewing like that. And when you finish sewing you don't need to also backstitch so that the thread will be free okay i am done sewing along the edge of the fabric it's now time to create gathers i will just pick one strand of the threads and i will begin to pull like that just to form gathers you have to be careful while doing this so you don't end up cutting the thread okay so 
take your time as well keep pulling and pulling till you get to the end of the cutout my actual head circumference is 23 inches like i mentioned earlier so i'll create these gathers in such a way that when i measure it round it should give me 23 inches so i would be confirming that now to see if it's actually 23 inches this is more than 23 inches so i will just pull it a little in a way that it will be exactly 23 inches and i will reconfirm it After measuring, it gave me 23 inches, so we are good to go. I will be knotting the thread like that so it doesn't pull out. You can do it three times. Then, when I was done doing this, I went ahead to adjust the gathers so it will be even, okay? Just spread it around so it doesn't look um, funny when you are done making it. The next thing I went ahead to do was to get another piece and this will serve as my band. The width of the band is 8 inches and the length is totally up to you. But this length is about 30 inches. You can use 35, you can use 40 depending on how long you want it to be. Again, I created a bias with it and now my width is now 3 inches on fold. I will be folding it into two just to get the midpoint. I will also be folding the cap two into two to also get the middle. Then I will place the two marks like that. I will place the two that way, then pin it down. The whole essence of this is for it to be, should I say, centralized on the head? Yeah. So I will just hold the two uh, marked points like that and begin to cover the rough edge with the band just watch how i did it also when doing this part you need to take your time don't rush so your work comes out very nice Guys, this is how it looks after pinning down. The beauty is coming out already. I've not even stitched yet. So I'll be taking you to my sewing machine to stitch on it. And you will follow that pattern, okay? If you've watched this video to this point, kindly give it a like. And don't also forget to share this video. Now, we are done making a kitchen cap or a chef cap, depending on how you want to call it. And this came out very beautiful this is also an easy DIY you can try it if you don't have a sewing machine you could make use of your hand needle it will still come out very well and for the band you could decide to use a velcro or an elastic to join the two ends of the band but I wanted mine to be like this so I can easily tie it to fit to my head size. The kitchen cap can be adjusted to any size, even the apron as well. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a comment, like and share this video. See you in my next one and bye.